Are you here to learn more about Alpha OBD and LED lights? Well then you came to the right channel. Surely you guys can keep up. Don't call them Shirley! Welcome to Big Daddy's house. So I see a lot of videos on Alpha OBD and what people have done with it, but they're always like 30 second videos of look what I did with Alpha OBD but they never show you how it's done. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on different things on Alpha OBD and show you step-by-step step how this is done. Instead of just giving you a 30 second video of look what I did. I don't feel like that's any good for the community. So if you wanna watch a truck video with some spice in it, you're in the right place. Fired up, baby. You will need a cell phone, the Alpha OBD app, the OBD link, and of course, LED lights. All right, so hopefully you guys will be able to see this, but there you go, license plate, light. These are the bulbs I'm gonna be using to, I'm gonna be using to replace it with. Just got these on Amazon. They're like four dollars for like for like a ten pack. So uh, normally you don't have to get underneath the car to do this, but I'm doing it just so you guys can see. So as you can see there, that's where the bulb is at. So you just turn it. Pull it out, and then we'll just pull that bulb out, put in the LED. I'm going to pull both of them out right now since I'm down here. And then when I put them back, I'm not going to show you this view so I don't have to get on my back again. <laughs> now it's fast and easy. Pull the old bulb out. Put the new LED one in. Stick it in the hole. Same thing, obviously. That's it. Now comes the fun part. Let's go inside the truck and show what kind of air lights it's showing now. Plug it right in here. Ramsey! Where's my boom mic guy? can't find good help these days. I don't got a boom mic guy. Then put your car into run position. And then pull out your phone. All right. After you download Alpha OBD from <clears throat> your Play Store, then you want to click on it. First thing you want to do is either connect during uh, over Wi-Fi or over Bluetooth. I do mine over Bluetooth, so I'll click that. App wants to turn on Bluetooth, allow. And then OBD link, click that and then it'll connect. Now if you have a problem connecting, try resetting the OBD box. Uh, there's a little button on the bottom, bottom left hand corner, you just hold it in and it should reset it. Uh, next, it's already pre-checked for me because I've done this 
a bunch of times, but you would for Dodge Rams, you want to hit Dodge Ram. Um, select car model. Hit that. What, uh, what we are working on today is a 2014 Ram 1500. Click that. Select function. And for that, let's see, past it. Body computer is what we're looking for. There it is, body computer, click that. And then control unit, click that. And then what works well for me is the 2013 through 17. So I'm going to click that. You would click whatever value your truck is. Probably most people watching this, it'll be that one. And then you hit connect. All right. Bottom right hand corner, there's a car with a hood up. Click on that. And then it says, warning, you guys can read that, I'm not going to read it to you. Uh, select procedure to start, I'm going to click that. And at the very bottom, it'll say car configure configuration change, click that. And then, scroll down a little bit and it'll say select option, so we'll click that. And now, what we're looking for, I'm just looking for the section where all the LEDs are at. There's so much stuff to scroll through here. Be very careful messing with things you don't, you don't know about. Uh, another thing I would recommend is, uh, before you start any of this, you could download all your data the way the truck is set up right now, and you could save it. Um, that would actually be the first thing I would do, just in case you mess up. You can look at what is not the way the truck was stock, and then you could change those settings back one by one. All right, so anyways, uh, back to LED. Okay, we're in the LED section. Go to, let's see, we are working with, where is it? License plate, there we go. License lamps present. Okay, so right here it says uh, LED, well, it says CBC features. LED license lamps present. Click on that. And then down here where it says select value, click on that. Whoops, there we go. And then select value. Yes, because yes, they are present now. Okay. And then you hit start. Now, for me, I've already done this, so it's going to say your current, my current status is yes. I don't need to do it. Um, for you, if it's your first time doing it, it'll say no. Um, are you sure you want to proceed? And then you just hit start. And that is it. And then you back out of it. All the way, yes. And then I always set a timer for five minutes. And then bam, you turn the car all the way off, pull the key out. And then I remove the OBD link also down at the bottom that we plugged in earlier and then walk away the waiting is the worst part for me <laughs> all right that's it let's go back to the truck and as you can see now there's only one message, 
just the parking lights because I'm going to do that on another video. But if your message still pops up after you get done with that procedure, which it has done with me in the past with other things, basically um, what you would do is just turn on and off whatever component you changed. So in this case, I have this on auto, so I'll just turn it on off and then back on and the message will go away. All right. That's it. Big Daddy. I don't know what I'm doing. Where's my boom mic guy? Where's the boom mic guy? <laughs>